everyone, Mike here from Hebden Photography, back once again with a really easy, really quick tutorial on how to add a natural looking vignette to an image. The photo I have here has a really flatly lit background, there's not much contrast, and it isn't too far and away um, different from our model. What I want is for her to pop out. What I don't want is for this to be a picture of a vignette with a model in it. We don't want to be able to see it. It doesn't. I don't want it to end up looking like one of those generic cell phone programs that adds a vignette to your picture. And what I do want is to slightly darken the background in a nondescript way, so that in a non-defined way, so that our model pops out a little bit more and she looks better. So what I'm going to do is sort of cut her out of the image a little bit. I can kind of define this triangle here as the area that I want to showcase from elbow to elbow to the top of her head. I don't want to create cut a triangle in here though. I do want to just make sure that none of that triangle is in my selection that I'm making. There we go. So uh, there we go. See how wobbly, wibbly that shape is I made because I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to look like a frame when we're done. So bear with me and you'll see exactly what's going on. What I would do is hit Shift F6 in order to um, feather this or we can go up to Select and Modify Feather. And here I'm putting 250 for my radius. Your radius really depends on the resolution of the image that you're working with. Um, 250 might be too much. It's I think the maximum of the program right now that I'm using. If it seems like too much, back it off. Check the resolution of your image. And if it's a low resolution image, then you're going to want a lower number here. There we go. You can sort of see that my shape has become even more nondescript. Some of the harder turns have disappeared, but they haven't really disappeared. It's just the, this line looks like that. What I'm going to do now is apply over here to levels I'm gonna uh, create a levels layer and that's gonna come with a mask on it already because of this selection there we are now we can see right here that our levels layer has a mask on it the problem with that mask is is it's backwards the black area is the part that will not be affected by the adjustments and the light area is the part that would now if I wanted to brighten our model up that would be fine but what I, I don't I want to darken the edges so I'm going to hit Control I, or Command I on a Mac, and invert that mask. There we can see now the little splotch area is black, so all of our effect changes, all of our changes that we make, are going to happen to the white area around our model here. And here we go. Just take this slider. This is our dark slider, our black slider, for our levels adjustment layer, and drag it down. Now, not too far. And then maybe the middle, the mid-tones, will grab those and darken them up a bit as well. Just sliding to the right. There we are. Now, it hardly looks like anything, really. But when you uh, take this effect on and off, you can really see what's happened. Here we've got our model much more out front than we do here, where the entire photo is quite flat. Which is not an altogether unpleasing image anyways, but there we go. Now if you find that, you know, it's too much or that everything looks great except for one area, like I don't like um, uh, how this area has become kind of a dark splotch in the background, I can take my brush and paint in black here. I'm going to start at a 50% opacity and just kind of back that off right there, just there, and correct any problems like that there we are so now still I'm getting that darkening effect it doesn't look like a frame around the photo I'll move this out so you can see the whole picture it doesn't look like a frame it doesn't look like dark corners only or a circle around our model she just it's imperceptible when you don't know it's when you haven't seen it applied and much more natural than uh, than a generic filter that you might find somewhere. Anyway, hope that helps. Hope you learned something. Have a great day.